So the mounting plate is a clamping style compression plate. It'll fit anything up to a three inch diameter. Once the clamping mechanism is adjusted to the diameter that you'd like, everything is going to be just wing nut control to snug it in place. So now we're going to back tie the plate to the foot of the tripod or to another stationary anchor to keep the plate from chattering up the tripod leg once there's a load on it. So there's a pin to receive either of these hooks and then a removable pin to lock it in place. Depending if you have a right-handed or left-handed operator or the track, the course of your line, because this is fully reversible, you can orient the winch to one side or the other very easily without changing your whole system. So to load the winch, there's a fair lead here, which is going to establish an entry angle of the rope onto the drum of the winch. All of the wraps will happen in a clockwise manner. The winch will only rotate clockwise. So we start with a baseline of three wraps on the winch and then through the shrouded self tailing head, hence the lock head. Um, and what this does is now that rope cannot inadvertently be removed from the winch, which would put the load at risk of dropping. So we always start with a baseline of, th of three wraps. Um, the wraps are where you will gain your friction purchase on the winch. So more wraps that you have, the more ro rope contact you have on the drum, creating more friction. So for heavier loads, say a two person rescue load, you may want to go up to four wraps, which is the max of the drum will accept. For a lighter load, especially in lowering situations where you may want to reduce the friction, you can go down to a minimum of two wraps. For the manual operation using the crank, it's a locking crank. This mechanism will lock it into the hub of the device so you don't have to worry about any type of dropped item risk. Now when you go clockwise, you are in the higher speed lower torque, so roughly 13 to 1 mechanical advantage. So that would be going forward. Coming the other way counterclockwise is where you implement the 40 to one mechanical advantage. So lower speed, higher torque. 